Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to get into orbit around Kerbin in Kerbal Space Program 2. For this video we're going to use this Saturn V rocket which I built in my how to build Saturn V rocket tutorial. And without further ado we're going to get straight into the launch. So the first thing we want to do is after takeoff we want to click the up button on the SAS control wheel. And that will just make sure that the rocket is pointed nicely towards the top of the nav ball and it won't then tip over and we won't lose control and have to either revert the launch or abort. So the next thing we'll do is we will roll the rocket so that the red north line is towards the left of the nav ball. And the reason for this is we are aiming for a 90 degree heading which is indicated by the black line on the nav ball which is now pointing downwards. Now the next thing we're going to do is once the altitude has reached 2500 meters we're going to click on the stability off button in the SAS control bar to reset the SAS to normal mode and then we are going to very carefully start pitching forwards. So now we're beyond 2500 meters we're going to start pitching the rocket and the main principle to bear in mind here is we want to keep the level indicator inside of the green prograde marker. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep the dot uh, pointed roughly towards the bottom of the prograde marker and we're also going to use our roll, pitch and yaw controls to try and keep it on the black 90 degree line. The reason we are wanting to keep the level indicator inside of the green prograde marker is because if it goes too far out of the marker then the air resistance will catch the rocket and it will flip it over and will then either have to, as I said before, revert the launch or even abort. So the next thing we want to do is we want to keep our eyes on the atmosphere gauge and once the little rocket symbol has reached nicely inside of the purple upper atmosphere marker then we will start to be able to pitch more towards the 45 degree line on the nav ball. The reason why we can do that then is because once we're into the upper atmosphere the air is so thin that it won't have that much of an effect on the rocket itself. So now the first stage is finished we're going to stage that and start burning the second stage and point directly towards the black 45 degree marker in the middle of the blue seg segment of the nav ball. So the next thing to do is we're going to keep our eye on the apoapsis on the orbital info panel and once that reaches around about 70,000 meters we're going to pitch down towards the horizon and the reason for this is this will extend our orbit rather than putting altitude into our orbit. Now because this rocket has so much delta V we can actually pitch a little bit below the horizon however if we do this we need to be very careful to keep our eye on the apoapsis because it's very easy to go too far and end up dropping the apoapsis back below the top of Kerbin's atmosphere but because our apoapsis is now above the atmosphere we're going to jettison the launch escape system and we are just going to try and keep the white level indicator on the 90 degree line. Now, pitching below the horizon will actually put a little bit more um, energy into extending our trajectory as opposed to raising it. And 
once the second stage has finished its burn, we're going to detach the third stage. And just to make sure that it doesn't start to spin out of control, we're going to click the prograde marker or the prograde button on the SS control wheel so that uh, the rocket will point towards the prograde marker. So next we want to create our orbital maneuver. So to do that we'll go into the map screen by pressing M on the keyboard and as you can see we have a nice big suborbital trajectory. So to create our maneuver we'll first right click on Kerbin, select the focus button and then we will try and place our maneuver node as close to the apoapsis marker as possible. One easy way to do this is if we line the orbit up so that it's just one blue line and not uh, any kind of circle we can then zoom straight in towards the apoapsis click on the marker and that will give us the closest to accurate maneuver that we can get and then we want to look down or up onto Kerbin and that will give us a good idea of how our orbit is progressing so to increase our orbit we're going to pull out on the prograde arrow until the orange line becomes circular and how to do that is once the periapsis and the apoapsis markers start to move we're going to reduce the amount of pressure we're putting on the arrow and the reason we do this is we want to try and get the periapsis and apoapsis at roughly 90 degrees from the maneuver marker and that will give us the closest to circular orbit that we can get. So now that our maneuver node is created, we're going to click on the maneuver button in the SAS control bar. And that will just point the ship towards the maneuver marker on the nav ball. It's always better to do this before you warp to the maneuver because you only get about 30 or 40 seconds after the warp. And especially if it's a heavier ship, it can take a lot longer for it to get itself into position. So now that's stabilised, we're going to click the Warp to Maneuver button. And once the warp is finished, what we're going to do is we're going to warp forwards a couple more notches until the yellow timer gets to around 10 seconds. And when it then reaches zero, we're going to stage the third stage engine. And now if we keep an eye on the burn gauge, once that reaches the bottom, we will press X on our keyboard to cut the engine. And there we have an orbit. So the apoapsis, uh, as you can see down on the orbital info bar, is 195.3 by 196.8, and that is pretty good. So, yep, yeah, that is how to get into orbit around Kerbin in Kerbal Space Program 2. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like it and subscribe to my channel. And I would also appreciate if you would leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Next up, I'm going to take this rocket to the moon. And we are going to show you how to get into orbit around the moon. So hopefully I'll see you then and enjoy flying.